Coach Vig's two best-selling books make great gifts. Order below. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas and happy holidays, my friends. It's Coach Vig Vogue with an I. Ah, what a year this has been. Challenging, to say the least. But I gotta say, I am, as always, in awe of your dedication, your support, your enthusiasm, and your energy in these flows because it really does start with us. We better ourselves and we work to help those around us. So thank you very much for a great year. We're gonna keep doing it, keep going. This is a big, big workout to end this season. And stay tuned at the end. We got a very special guest coming in to really crank up the flexibility. So there's really nothing, nothing we won't like about this flow. Are you ready? Let's go. Would you believe it? It's about 60 degrees here in December in the Rockies. So we got to film around the blacktop. Let's begin in child's pose. Sprinkling in so many different body weight disciplines in this flow. But let's not think about that. Let's be in the moment, breathing in the nose, out the nose, breathing deep into the abdominals. So when you inhale, let your ribs stretch out. As you exhale, give it all you got and squeeze out the lungs. Three more breaths. Knees are wide. So good to start our odyssey here with some lengthening, some decompression in the spine. Mind-numbingly fun. As always, modify as needed and use control. We're going to keep on flowing. Bring it up to downward facing dog. Eight steps. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight. I said eight, right? Okay. Walk the feet forward, hip width, press back chair, four breaths. Weight is in the heels and the glutes. Dive down, forward fold, soften the knees, shake out the arms and the shoulders and even the neck. Shake out your ears. Whew, like Stan Laurel. Whew. So nice. All right, bring it back, child's pose. Press it back, three breaths. Little sway side to side. This movement, this is gonna bring out nothing but the best, that untapped potential, the untapped performance abilities you have. Downward facing dog, eight steps, one. Stretch it out, two. The weight is in the heels, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. It's a beautiful thing. Walk or jump forward. Chair pose. Four breaths. We having fun yet? Oh, you're over there. Okay. And the exhale. Dive down. Soften the knees. Walk it side to side a little bit. Sway side to side. Three breaths. Loosen up the spine. Blood to the brain. Blood flow in the body, that is magical. Ho, ho, ho. Step it back. Child's pose, knees wide. Let's twist it back and forth. I love these flows so much, but they're always a little disheartening because I want to do so much. And time sometimes is of the essence. So are these pebbles. So we focus on what we can do right now. Very concentrated. Two more times each side. Your spine should be singing right now. Ha, 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 ha. Or some other song. Down dog. Let's do 10 steps. Add a twist. Here we are. Look at this. Two, three, lots of breath. Four, tuck the chin. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Walker jump forward. We have the chair. Take the arms forward this time. Lace the fingers. Four breaths. Pressing back and down in the glutes. Okay, reach the arms back. Lace the fingers. Soften the knees. Mudra forward fold. Lots of breath. If you feel lightheaded, come out of it. Three breaths. 
give that spine a little bit of time to loosen up in its own time. It's a lot of time. Okay, drop the arms flat back, fingers on the shins or on the floor. Draw the shoulders back. You want to lengthen that spine. <clears throat> Back of the neck is long. There we are. Step back. Plank position. Hold or walk the legs. Stabilize the center. Just keep walking. Or hold. Or modify with the knees down. Ho, ho, modification. And I did put sunscreen on. Don't worry. Kind of zogging here. Let's do four more. One, two, three. Four, press forward. Here's hover. <gasps> Elbows in, lower down. Drop the knees if you feel so compelled to do. All the way down. Inhale, cobra. Hands are on the shoulders. Elbows into the sides. Lift. With the inhale, lengthen as you go up. Exhale, lower down. On the next exhale, press up and back. Downward facing dog. Let's walk with the twist. Two, three, four, five. We're doing ten, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Be in control here. Inhale forward. Plank. Hold or T stands. Inhale. Lift up. Oh, extend tall. Hold for an extra breath. <clears throat> extend to the front. Down. Other side. Good. Let your body slip into these movements like a nice comfortable pair of pajamas and reach and down one more time each side i was going to wear my christmas story jammies but there's a hole in the crotch how about that inappropriate extend good down down there's the plank up <sighs> smiling sometimes is my favorite good as we go through this maybe we'll get some uh, classic christmas movie quotes going and that's what planking is all about Charlie Brown. All right, back to plank, press forward. Here's our hover. Enjoy it, savor it. And then Cobra, lift. Let me take your Cobra knowledge to the next level. Extend the arms forward, palms facing in. You could keep it here. Or with the inhale, take the hands slightly back and lift. As you exhale, slide or walk the hands forward again. It's a nice, dynamic, pulsing, long, Cobra. We might have to abbreviate that. Let's do four more times or hold. Really getting some movement and strength in the back. Drop the shoulders. Good. Strong. Strong. Weight is in the tummy. One more time. And we're just right, we're ready with the thumbs up. How about that? Lower down, press up and back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift the right leg up, open the knee if you wish, or open the hip rather. Sinking that left heel down in the exhales. It's a scorpion down dog. Okay, bring that right foot forward. We have a lunge. Arms up, stretch the back leg. Cactus arms. Hands down, back to down dog, left leg up, open if you wish. Try it on, try on the pose. Put it on layaway. Forward, lunge, balance, stagger the feet. Woo -wee. There we are, cactus arms, and now vinyasa flow. Step back, you can kick the leg up if you like, forward, down, hover. Cobra or up into upward facing dog. Elbows in, open the chest, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, open. One of my favorites. In the new year, we'll definitely add some new variations of this. Right foot forward, lunge. Cactus arms, open, very strong. Back to down dog, left leg, open. Your breath should be loud and proud. It's like an 80s hair metal concert. Loud breath. Meow. Okay. Left foot forward. Engage that front leg. Cactus arms. 
All right, vinyasa flow. Leg up if you like. Hit those spots, hit those spots. Back to down dog. Beautiful movements, beautiful. Let's walk or jump the feet forward. Turn to the front. Tree pose, we come up. Take the left hip open, hands together. Heel below or above the knee or ankle on the thigh. If you wanna add some extra movement, we exhale down into crouching tree. Inhale up. Four times, here's two. Focus. Ninja training. Three. Excellent, one more time. We come down, bring it up, cactus arms, go right to the other side. Flow it together, hold the tree or the crouching tree. Extended tree combo. Inhale up, here's one. Oh, small. This is amazing what we're doing here. Isn't that amazing? You might be falling out of it, staggering. That's fine, practice. Practice, it gets better. Always gets better. Down whew, and up. All right, turn it, forward fold. Whew. Take an extra breath. Excellent, step back to plank. Again, open it up. If you want, stack the legs. If you want more, bring this leg up. Extend, down, other side. Huh. Oh, how'd that leg get up there? Extend, down. One more time, each side, I'm revving it up. Boop. Whoa, too excited. Extend, down, one more time. That is something, isn't it? <laughs> da -da -da. Bum, 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 Down, vinyasa flow. <sighs> Cobra or up dog. <sighs> Down dog. Ooh, we are moving. Right leg up, open. <sighs> Excellent. Into a tall warrior. Turn this left foot in. Bend the front knee. Arms up, lace the fingers. Zoom. Index finger and thumb out. Sink the legs down as you extend the fingers tall. Challenge those legs. Ooh, there we are. Keep this knee open, the, the front knee. Now inhale up and back. Inhale center, exhale forward. Oh, I love this, the extreme, extreme extended warrior. Okay, hands down, vinyasa flow. Kick the right leg up and we flow through it. Eventually coming back to down dog like always. Take the left leg up, open, stretch. Always pay close attention to that back heel. Let it sink down for an extra delicious fruitcake um, stretch. Christmas reference. All right, left foot forward. We have the warrior. Okay. And arms up. We're tall, very tall to start. Here we are. Fingers up, shoulders down. Really work the legs. I mean, warrior pose. Sometimes we lose focus on the lower body. We want to get that upper body going, but we can stitch them together. Breathing in, let that belly pooch with the inhales. Ooh, doing a number on that front leg, aren't we? That feels good, stretch that back leg. And now reverse it. Inhale, center, exhale, extend, good. Ooh, keep that top shoulder back, two more breaths. And I think the time is for some vinyasa. Hands down, here we go. Lots of power, lots of strength, utilizing the entire body as one beautiful Gumby. <sighs> and then downward facing dog. <sighs> okay, walk the legs. Two, three, four, let's do 10, five, add a twist. 
Good stuff. Walk the feet forward, come down seated position, half boat pose. Feet can also be flat. Where's the sun? Anyone see the sun? Arms out. Five breaths right here. Keep the emphasis in the abdominal, shoulders down. Look at those toenails. Yeah. Well, Neil's head comes to a point. I watch a lot of Christmas specials. Love them. I have like five or six VHS tapes full of old specials from the 80s. Oh. All right, cross the ankles, back to plank, vinyasa flow. If you ever want to leave out the flow, you could go directly to downward facing dog. Here we are, down dog, sink the heels down. Stretch, stretch, stretch. This is the youthening stretch. Walk or jump forward, again, seated position, and half boat. You want more? Oh, legs all the way out. Coach V is going to do this right now. Coach V, that's what I said. Five more breaths. Stabilize. Stay here or grab the ankles or the feet extended boat. I like to refer to this as a sitting down dog. Drop the shoulders. You're really, well, you know it. You're feeling the stretch down the backs of your legs, keeping the core strong, keeping your body balanced. All right, one more breath. Oh, good. That breathing has to be there. Cross the ankles, flow or down dog. There's your hover. Slowly, slowly. Cobra or up dog. Energize that spine. Back to down dog. Stretch it out. Take a few breaths here. Feel the movement in the back. Perhaps some adjustments, some reordering of the furniture in the spine. Okay, inhale, right leg up tall. Stretch it out. Coach Vig loves these three-legged dogs. Great opportunity for length and expansion and strength in the body. Right foot forward. This is an airplane. Two options. One, arms out here. Or take, you could pivot that back foot down, take the arm underneath. Hold for three breaths, either one. Bring him back a favorite. <laughs> Woo, bam. All right, step back, down dog, other leg, lift. Open if you want. Feel that movement and power in the back. Undoing damage. And left foot forward. Find your airplane. I found mine, here it is. There we are. Airplane warrior just needs a little love. Okay, vinyasa flow. Here we go. Total control over this beautiful gym that we have. Right leg up, open, and forward. Again, airplane, pick your option. Two more breaths. And take it back, open, stretch, stretch, stretch. Forward, boom, three breaths. All right. All right, vinyasa flow. Strong arms, strong shoulders, down dog. Take the right foot back. I'm gonna even go on the blacktop here. Dun, dun, dun. This is a frozen down dog dance stretch. <laughs> Again, probably have to abbreviate that. So this foot's back here, it's like a little kickstand. Stretch that back leg, this one right here as much as you can. You could bend this one, that one, <laughs> and work your chest towards the mat. Three breaths, huge stretch. Feel free to slide the hands forward, but keep control of the pose, no face planting. Your back will never be the same. 
Okay, <laughs> let's flow. Before we go to the other side. Okay, when you're ready, here we go. Make a day of it. Where you start is not where you finish. Keep progressing. Keep expanding. Three more breaths. Woo. Shake him with joy. Flow. Who's joy? And down dog. Walk or jump forward. Take the weight off the wrist. Rise up. We stack. We stack. Turn. Come down into a sumo squat. Hands on the thighs. Pressing back. Hold it here or the twist. I love this one. Maybe not love. If you love everything, it's tough to... Yeah, you can't love everything. You can appreciate it. So I like this twist. I appreciate it. I'm grateful for it. Press. Drop this shoulder down. See how we do that? The other shoulder goes back. And that fulfills the twist obligation for the twist patent. I'm going to keep going. Let's do two more each side. Sink down lower. Really feel that in the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, your very soul itself. All right, into side lunge. This leg goes out. Fingers down, open, or hands together. Five breaths, lifting tall, always engaging the core. The core is never left out. If it is, well, we're like a lifeless sock puppet. The core is the center, the center of the strength, holds us together. Yes, all right, other side. Side lunge, good times. Find your variation, find your focus, five breaths. Mm, the lunge becomes the soundtrack. Soundtrack, that's right. Silent lunge. Okay, let's have some fun. Turn into a lunge here. Now, we got this, we have lunge. We're gonna come up, go the other side. See how well you know your lunge. Back and forth, stagger the feet, hands are down for support. If you like, you can also take the arms up. Lunge, turn, 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 lunge. The add-on is to add the windmill. That's a Coach Vig favorite. So here's lunge. We take that back leg, sweep it around, plant, lunge. I'm not going to say speed it up. If anything, slow it down. It's safer, and you work the body so much more. If you don't like this, just go lunge to lunge or hold the lunge. Switch when you're ready. And there's always child's pose. And I mean that, child's pose is always there, a little stopping off point to regroup. It's a wonderful thing. A lot of balance. Who have not added these to a video in quite some time? Love that. Little surprise, like an old friend stopping by. You may not love them, but you know they're good for you. All right, I'm gonna do one more. Bring it back around. Lunge into vinyasa flow. Down dog. Let's do an active down dog dance. So we step back, stretch, switch. Let's do 10. Here's three. Four. Five, how you feeling? Six, seven, 
eight, nine, Merry Christmas, and 10. Okay, back to the center. Flow once more with me. Our special surprise guest is coming up in just a moment. Cobra or up dog? Let's hold it for four breaths. Good back bend. And our special guest is going to take you through an intermediate to advanced stretch routine. So stay tuned. We'll see what you think of her. All right, down dog. Take a couple breaths here. Stretch it out. All right, I'm going to turn it over to my good friend and flexibility queen, Cheryl of Yoga by Cheryl. <sighs> Enjoy. Hello, everyone. Merry almost Christmas. <laughs> Sean said he was going to wear his Christmas jammies, so I had to bring some spice. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I got a little bit of Christmas on me. So we're going to start here in downward facing dog. <laughs> and we're just going to take our arms flat and we're going to pump down. So one, pump, two, we're going to do this about 10 times, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Really squeeze down into it. This as Christmassy as fun as it is. I'm gonna throw it to the side. It does jingle though, everyone. There are jingles. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna roll out a bit. So we're gonna take almost like a camel up. We're gonna come up into a plank. We're gonna bend our knees, come back and roll out. So inhale and exhale. Inhale, roll over, exhale, roll down. Last one, roll up and down. All right, we're gonna take our left leg high and we're gonna circle all the way out to the left for three, two, and three. We'll take the opposite leg, high, and out to the right. Two and three. All right. Let's walk our legs a little bit more. I know Sean had you walking a lot, but keep movement in here as much as we can. And we're gonna step, jump, or hop forward. We're just gonna step. We're gonna go into our yogi squat. Now, I have these horses just wide here, hands together, and breathe in and out. But uh, so I was taking my horses for a walk and uh, keep breathing and uh, moving back and forth. <laughs> and one of them, very, very stubborn, decided he didn't want to walk. So he bucked up, kicked his head at me, and threw me to the ground. So I have like this very, very sore wrist, but we're gonna work through it here because the holiday season calls for yoga. So let's take our wrists and our hands and clasp them together and sway back and forth here. If you can get your legs a little bit wider, I do encourage that. Take our hands and bring them all the way up. Breathe in and breathe out. If you can, tap your knees to the side. Tap. Keeping our hands at heart center. Tap. Woo! <laughs> Step. One more. Tap. And just for a little extra love, we're going to do one more on each side. One. And two. All right. Hands on the mat, let's take our right leg, bring it back, bend it, and sit all the way back here. Oh, we're gonna take this knee and we're gonna bend our right knee. 
can breathe in and out. Point your toes here. If you can do a bind, we're gonna take our right hand behind and we're gonna bind here. And breathe. I like to try to see either if I can expand up or if I can expand out with my breath. So I do encourage you to see where you can get your breath to take you within your movement. So if you can get your breath to expand you up with a big inhale and then out with the exhale, it's always going to be great. I found this new trail. So we're going to take our right leg up. <laughs> I walked it for about 20 minutes before I found this spot. And <laughs> Still quite a busy spot, to be honest. So lots of people are walking by, looking at me. <laughs> but all in fun. All right, legs straight up. Then we're gonna take our leg and our arm and we're gonna balance straight out to the side. And we're gonna take three deep breaths here in the nose and we're gonna actually breathe really loudly out the mouth. So. take our right leg over our left and we're going to reach for our toes and we're going to do a forward bend. I like to rock side to side in any of my movements. I don't feel uh, as if I'm getting the, you know, a, a juicy enough stretch in or if I just feel like I can get more into it in any sense. So feel free to just move. Never restrict yourself with your movements or your breath. Always feel what feels best for you. All right, let's take our leg up and down. And let's go to the other side. We're going to bring our left leg in. And arms straight up. Airplane our arms out. If you can do a bind, we're going to wrap our left leg around our left leg, left hand around our left leg, and we're going to expand up with our breath and forward. If you can get your nose to touch your knee, that's always fun. Let's try that. If you can't, if you can't bind, if you can't do that, I encourage you just to put your hands here and clasp them and try to keep your heart center up high and just hold here and do a clasp. If you are into the bind, we're going to try to expand up and down. Ooh. My legs are shaking. It's, it's nice out here, but it's also a little bit cold. <laughs> so I brought a Christmas hat but I didn't think it would stay on my head. So we're gonna go into butterfly here. I guess I could face the wall. So butterfly pose. Just get all the kinks out. I know you've already been working hard and you're ready for the holidays and the family. And I'm just really, really grateful that you guys are here and that you're wanting to move with us. So hands behind and we're just gonna twist. You can bring your heart center up high. Just breathe into that. And then I like to take my right leg over my left here. So they're not crossed, but they are somewhat together, almost like a butterfly. We're gonna take our hand down and we're just gonna go over. Really stretch out our side body here. So many birds out here, airplanes. And I don't know if you can hear them, but they're so fun to listen to. Normally I just am quiet and I just am moving for myself. So talking out loud within movements is like a, a whole nother circuit for me. 
So we're just gonna go around here. And to the opposite direction. get into this pose or it's too hard or or it feels like too much I encourage you just to stay here and bend it if you can straighten it straight out then do that um, but we're gonna take our arm in between here so it does help if you push out and then push up now you can take this hand up readjust and hold here for a few breaths if it feels better to you to bring this leg more in and push out with your elbow, and then that is totally acceptable as well. But we are just going to breathe into this one. This is one of my favorite poses. I use this to stretch almost every day, and it just feels so, so good on my body. All right, we're gonna take the knee, and we're just gonna let it rest here for a second. Just pulse it out. Because if you don't do that often, or even if you do, it's still quite an intense stretch on your body. Let's roll our ankles out a little bit as well. A couple one direction, a couple the other. Whew. And let's go side to side a couple more times. Let's readjust ourselves first though. These pants are, they like to <laughs> roll their way down. It's all fun and games until I got a big lump on my stomach of straight pants. <laughs> all right, let's go to the other side. Left leg in. This one here now, if you can't get it up for some reason, like I said, you can readjust and just go straight out here. You can also go straight out here if you wanna hold that and try to get a little bit more flexibility. You can pulse it like this back and forth. That's going to help get you into this pose eventually. So for those of you that are ready to go into it, we're going to go straight up, push back with our arm, and over. And some big deep breaths here. You can always grab up and hold on this way. So many ways our bodies like to move. Do what feels best for you. That is my biggest, biggest thing. It doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to be exactly the pictures or anything like that. It just has to feel good. Your body has to feel good within what you're doing. So we're going to pulse here a little bit just to wring that leg out. And then we're going to do some circles with our feet. Bring our legs around and we're going to dive back down into downward facing dog. I'm going to go into a vinyasa flow here, so forward and hover. See how long you can hover. These are my favorite. If you can go back and forth, back and forth, this is really going to help maintain that strength and release. <laughs> If you weren't already released, we're just gonna go into baby cobra here. Bring it up and bring it back down. And one more time here. And we're gonna take our hands and clasp them behind us. And we're going to reach our head up as far as we can within this pose. Toes down, push up, and downward facing dog. Take our right leg, and we're going to step it all the way forward. 
Well, there's a lot of holes here. <laughs> In my hair. Lovely, lovely day. All right. We are going to take our right hand next to our right foot. We're just going to windmill a few times. One. Two. Three. One more. Four. And I lied again. We're going to go five. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Now we're going to take our hands. And it's going to be full of juicy binds. So we're going to take our hand behind here. And we're going to bind through. Instead of just sitting in this bind, we're gonna stretch down, straighten our right leg, and we're gonna bend it back out. So, straighten. My knee pops every time I do this, so. <laughs> if you hear a clicking noise, it's me, it's not the birds. Ah, and straighten, Whew. And back down. And we're gonna bring this here. We're gonna go straight up, stretch, 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 and we're gonna straighten our leg, even if your knee bends and pops, it's okay. So we're gonna go straight, straight, straight leg here. You can hover your leg up, or your hand up, I'm sorry, and do that. And we're gonna go right into warrior two from here. forward, right hand down, left hand down, twist, go into the vinyasa, you can keep your leg up and hover through all the way to upward facing dog, get your toes down and downward facing dog. All right, we're going to take our left leg up and bring it all the way through and same thing on this side. We're going to take our left hand down by our left foot and we're going to windmill. Going up, down, three, four, and we have to do five on this side. <laughs> five. All right, now back into our crazy bind. We're going to take our left hand through, our right hand. Now you'll be able to see on this side a lot easier. We're going to straighten our leg and bend. Straighten and bend. Woo! Dove right into this flow today. Didn't warm up at all. <laughs> I mean, I guess the 20 minute hike in here could have been a uh, a warm up. So we're gonna twist and we're gonna go straight up into our forward. And up. Forward. We take our hands down, leg up if you can, and then you up. Upward dog. Let's do a few twists here. And juicy flowing today. Now we're facing dog. All right. We're gonna go forward, hover, straight down, up, back and forth. Keep it going, keep it going. I know you wanna drop a couple more and release. All right. For this one, we're going to take our right leg up and over, place it on the ground. We're going to have this arm straight out, and we're going to clasp our hands here. We're going to a full on stretch. This is a great, great, great back stretch. Every little part of your upper back. And release the right arm. Bring it over, release the foot, bring it down, 
and we're gonna go straight to the other side. So arms are out for the airplane, left leg up, all the way over. This leg, hand is gonna go behind. If you can't reach it from behind, it's okay to leave it here. It's okay if it starts burning right here in your upper leg. But if you can, take your hand and clasp it with your other hand and go out as far as you can. Try to keep your heel down on that left leg and extend your right foot. I know we didn't do this on the other side, but if you can raise your leg up, that's also another great, great, great stretch. If not, just leave it on the ground. No big deal wherever you're at in your practice. All right, release that arm. Maybe a little more gracefully than me. Just plopped it down there. And right leg down. Whew. And we're gonna go into upward facing dog. We take our legs here. We're gonna cross over. This is one that Sean used to do all the time. And I absolutely love, love, love this stretch. Feels so great on the back, on the legs, on the arms. Not on my wrist or my thumb, but everything else feels great. All right, and release down, point the toes, curl them under, push up into high plank, and back if you can find your mat into downward facing dog. All right, and we're gonna pulse here again, so push down, two, so 10. Come straight down here and take your hands up. Stretch tall, 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 tall. Over to one side, over to the other, and release. Whew. I have a special Christmas hat I promised myself I would put on at the end of this flow because it is, however, a few days before Christmas, and who doesn't love the holidays? This is all dirty now, but Sean didn't wear his Christmas pants, so we are going to end with some Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, as always, thank you guys so, so, so much for joining us. I'm so grateful you're here, especially with how crazy this year has been. So thanks again for joining, and I hope you enjoy your Christmas. Get your free 30-minute yoga video from the Sean Vig Fitness app. It's exclusive by clicking the link below.